Hey there, this is Jordan Molson with jordanmolson.com and blog.jordanmolson.com, which my blog is where most of my stuff goes, so if you want to connect, head over to blog.jordanmolson.com. In this video, I'm going to show you real quick how to make a completely 100% customized uh, email opt-in form using Aweber. And I don't see enough people using this. I only see like the big dogs using this. Well, one day I decided I wanted to know how to create these forms, these opt-in forms that are completely 100% awesome and branded to whatever blog I was on. So I just started tinkering around and I figured it out and it really wasn't that hard. So I'm going to show you real quick how to create something that looks just like the one I created for my personal blog. So obviously the very first step um, is you want to figure out based upon your blog layout. Here's my blog layout. So you want to know the dimensions of your sidebar. Uh, most sidebars like mine are you're going to be dealing with 300 pixels wide. You can make these forms as long as you want. So you could have a 300 wide by 1000 pixel long. Um, but anyway, this one right here that I'm going to be working with today is 300 pixels wide by 400 pixels uh, high. So that's the first thing. Find out your dimensions. Then you want to actually create the graphic. That's out of the scope of this video, but you want to create your, your background. So you kind of got to have an idea of where you want your form, what your button's going to look like, how big your button is going to be, so that you know how to lay out your graphic. Because this, this is the title, so this is actually done in Aweber. This is done, obviously, in Aweber and this is done in Aweber. So everything below this and the background of all this is my graphic. You'll see my graphic right here. That's what the graphic looks like without the form. So before I started designing it, I knew I wanted my form to be right up at top and I wanted the text to be at the bottom. So that's how I designed it. And then once you do that, it's just a matter of getting the form and everything, the actual input uh, label to fit properly within the graphic. So I'm actually going to start from scratch so that you can see how I did it from scratch. So I'll just go back to um, sign up forms. So once you're in Aweber, you go to sign up forms, create a new sign up form. And I always start by going to popular and I pick, pick the completely bent, <laughs> geez, I can't talk tonight, the completely blank one, it's called basic. So I load in the basic template, and I pretty much ditch the header. Um, in this case, I ditched the name. I just wanted to grab an email address. And I ditched the privacy and the powered by and the footer. So that's what you're left with in this case, the email and the, uh, and the button. So from here, I knew that the, uh, the form was going to be uh, 300 wide. So you go to uh, form type. Sorry, yeah, form type. Width is going to be 300, 300 pixels wide. So 300 and enter. Then you go down to the body, and then you actually have to go over here and click the advanced button, which drops down a whole menu. So then I picked up my, let's see where you find it, picked up my graphic. Oh, that, let me, let me hit this step. You're going to have to load this video, or sorry, load this image into your blog or some kind of a, a, an image hosting site. But if you've got a blog, you should have this. You put it in your media library and bam, you load it up and then grab the link to the image. Go back to Aweber, paste in the URL for the image, hit enter, and there it's going to be. So now the tricky part is the padding. Typically 15 by 15 will be fine. Um, I found out for this one, this is something you're going to have to play with. It's going to be different for every image. But I knew that about 220 pixels of padding down at the bottom was perfect. Now you'll see it'll change once I put the other stuff in here. So then we go into, let's go ahead and edit this. I'm going to take out the email because it always looks a little more polished when you don't use a label before the input field. You just use a value. So the value is actually what goes into the input field. So enter your best email, dot, dot, dot. Remove text. This is important. Remove text when clicked. If you do not click this button, then they're actually going to have to backspace or highlight and delete all of that text before they can put in their email address 
and that's just one more step for somebody to, to go through. So make sure you collect a click, remove text when clicked. And there we go. And you want this, I position this all the way to the left. So it makes it nice and centered. I adjusted the text to make it a little bit bigger. Again, most of these things here are uh, stuff you're just going to have to play with um, based upon your own design. But it all starts with the background design. So then we're going to go to inputs. I don't think I changed anything in the inputs. And then the, the next major thing is your submit button. Because again, you're going to come over here to the advanced and you're wanting, it's wanting a button image. So I already had one set up in here. Let's go back to my library. And there I've got my button. So I'd grab the URL to the image, go back to Aweber and paste it in. And as soon as you hit enter, bam, there it is. So now you've replaced that. And the final step is whether you want to put a header up the top. I did. I wanted to put, I shouldn't have taken the header out, but um, I'm sorry, not a header. A, um, a text field. There we go. And you put whatever you want in. And I want to make that centered. And I want to make it a little bit bigger. Maybe 16, maybe 18. Save it, and then I want to drag that up at the top. And you'll see as I as I added everything in, the background filled itself in. So essentially, that's how to make a customized Aweber, uh, customized email opt-in form within Aweber. And just to recap again. You start with your, with your dimensions. You have to know your dimensions to start with. In this case, it was 300 pixels wide by 400 pixels high. So then, I, then you, wanna, you obviously want to have an idea of where you want this part of the form. This very, just as easily, could be down at the bottom or in the middle with some graphic on top and graphic on the bottom. That's completely up to your creative design and how you want to use it. From that point, you need to load up whatever background image and graphic you're using into your media library. Uh, make sure you've got that link handy and then you come into Aweber and then you just do the steps that I just provided. So if you need to watch this again, watch it over again. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to my blog, obviously I'd love to have you as a subscriber. This is the kind of content that I'll be regularly putting out. Little things. I look for things that the average person who's trying to do internet marketing and blogging and things like that online that they may or may not have ever heard of uh, because I don't see a whole lot in the um, internet marketing, blogging, work at home sphere. I don't see too many people with really awesome looking um, email opt-in forms like this. So I've been wanting to make this video for a better part of a year. So hopefully that helped. Go ahead and go over to blog.jordanmolson.com and subscribe to the blog and you'll get awesome content like this as fast as I can produce it. So thanks for watching. Um, if you have any questions, if you're on YouTube, comment below this video. Tell me your questions. Let me know uh, if something wasn't clear or if you have a, a question that you want me to address that I didn't, you know, didn't go into to a, as much depth as you wanted me to on. And I'd be happy to shoot another video or just type in a response for you. Uh, down in the comments. If you're watching this on my blog, obviously please uh, comment below this post and I will uh, be glad to respond to you. And if you found this valuable, as always, please share it socially on Facebook and Twitter and, and all the other good social sites. Again, thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. God bless you. Talk to you soon.